The greatest casualty of the operation to eliminate Osama bin Laden, despite the al-Qaeda leader himself, may well be the relationship between the U.S. and Pakistan. In so many other cases, we have been providing the information. And yet, we are being hit below the belt. Everybody is talking about that we should ask more questions of Pakistan as to why, why they didn't know Osama was there. The current phase of bilateral relations got underway after the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan in 1979. Keen to help Islamabad arm and support the Afghan resistance, Washington handed over billions of dollars in funds. This continued until the end of the conflict in 1988. <laughs> Spring 1998 and relations began to sour as Pakistan embarked on its first nuclear weapons test. The flow of aid from Washington dried up. The situation worsened again after the coup d'etat in October 1999, which brought General Pervez Musharraf to power. The new government in Pakistan chose to back the Taliban in Afghanistan in the name of regional stability. The same Taliban suspected by the U.S. of sheltering its most wanted man, Osama bin Laden. The al-Qaeda leader was thought to be behind these attacks on U.S. embassies in Kenya and Tanzania in 1998. But it was 9-11 that changed everything. Fearful of being co-opted into pressuring the Taliban to hand bin Laden over and of suffering the consequences of any U.S. military retaliation, Musharraf changed his strategy. He allowed the Americans full use of Pakistani military bases. Over a 10-year period, the U.S. would give Pakistan $20 billion in direct and indirect aid to secure its cooperation. But the human cost for Pakistan was high. Local populations fled the fighting along the border as waves of Afghan refugees flooded in. There were frequent attacks by militants. Then, in July 2010, the whistleblowing site WikiLeaks published documents suggesting that the U.S. suspected Pakistan of playing a double game and courting the militants. Islamabad strongly denies this. But it's evident that Washington does not have blind faith in this marriage of convenience. 